Malignant narcissism is a specific manifestation of narcissistic personality disorder. It's a combination of narcissistic personality disorder, antisocial personality disorder, aggression, sadism, and paranoia. So when you take all of that and mix it together, we got what you call a malignant narcissist. So let's talk about some of the traits of each of these things, okay? Nar NPD traits. The primary traits are delusions of grandeur, lack of empathy, belief in superiority. They take advantage for, for others for their own gain. We know this. They gather supply, right? They envy. They need attention and high levels of recognition. They have entitlement, a a heightened sense of self-importance that goes beyond like just liking yourself, right? And they're arrogant and will berate others. Okay, so these are some of the main traits that we, we look at when um, people are diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder. As you know, uh, based on the videos on this channel and others, there's a lot more to it, but we're gonna stop there because we're gonna move on to the other attributes of a malignant narcissist. Antisocial personality disorder also includes disdain for authority, patterns of deceit, reckless, impulsive, dangerous behavior, risky behavior, extreme difficulty planning ahead or making plans, no remorse, beyond no empathy, no remorse. They're generally hostile, aggressive, and irritable, at least once the mask comes off, right? Irresponsible, arrogant, disrespectful behavior. Take all that and you roll it up with what we already know about narcissism, right? Okay, so then let's move on to the aggression. Well, aggression is aggression. Aggression is injuring others, prop, injuring others, property damage, emotional aggression, yelling, screaming, hostility. So sadism, what is sadism? Sadism is when a person gains pleasure from other people's pain. It's when they will inflict pain to gather the supply of pleasure seeking that they get from it. It's almost like you feel it, it's tangible when you're around someone who's sadistic that they actually like when you hurt. They enjoy watching others in pain. They get turned on basically from other people's pain in all ways. Yes, always. And they fantasize about hurting and harming others. A sadist will enjoy humiliating others, so shaming and putting others down. There can be aggression, but sometimes it's like a sort of covert aggression where they're sort of poking at someone aggressively, um, but it's not quite as overt where you can see they're getting something out of it. They're enjoying They behave in extremely controlling, domineering, and assertive ways toward other people. So basically, if you mix all that together and hide it under the mask of narcissism that we know they wear, it's going to be not super easy to spot necessarily, but once you see it, you can't unsee it. There is a darkness about people like this that is tangible and to sensitive people, almost scary or looming and dangerous feeling. So another thing that happens when someone is a malignant narcissist is the paranoia. They're hypersensitive to criticism. They think others are out to get them. They will... I knew one that I believe was a malignant narcissist. And this person basically said, if you're not with me, I said, then what? What else is there? And I said, okay, so what does that mean by not being not with you? And they said, if you, if you do one thing that makes me think you'll turn on me, what they wrap this all up in is the charm. They will wrap all of this up into a charming behavior. A malignant narcissist who is behaving this way is similar to the way sociopathic people behave and may even cross the line into being sociopaths, where oftentimes the sociopath and the psychopath can appear very charming because they know how to put on the mask. Not only do they not have empathy, they enjoy hurting, which means they can wear any mask they want while everyone else in the room is squirming and uncomfortable, right? They can, they can behave in ways that make themselves look like anything the people around them need to see so that they can gain the supply and, and basically harm others in that way. So that is just 
a list of some of the things to look out for, some of the signs and traits of malignant narcissism. My name is Lise Colucci. I'm one of the life coaches at Queen Being. I am here to help you if you need anything. Look in the main description of every video. I have links to coaching, to group coaching, to support groups, all of that right there. There's also an email address. If you need me, you can find me. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Don't forget to hit subscribe.